Drum roll, please. Brrr. Got my first real bed. I'm really happy with it. I got this bed frame and it was too tall for me and I went to Home Depot to have them cut the legs for me. Like I took the legs off to have them cut it, but they were too weird of a shape that they weren't allowed to cut it because it wasn't safe or something. So I cut them myself. It took forever, it took all day. Just, just, just hacking away with this freaking hacksaw and they were all uneven, but I put some like a cardboard or something underneath one of the legs to make it balanced. Ah, man, it feels really good to have a bed that's big. It's the first time I've ever had a big bed. It's Saturday night, and uh, I was pretty, pretty lonely, honestly. Um, you know, just, I don't feel like I really have anybody to kick it with, so that sucks. But I talked to my buddy Isaiah I went to school with. He's super one of the coolest one of the best people I know, honestly, and hit him up, but I'm not sure we're gonna hang, I don't know. He's super busy with work, he's always hustling, so, you know, I totally get it. But, I uh, started work um, this past week. Let's see if we can get a good angle here. Started work this past week. It was really, really, really hard. First couple days were just so, so good. I was just so gassed. It was just super, it was just crazy. Like, and I was just really, really hit with the whole sense of, damn, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life kind of thing. And it just further reinforced the whole, kind of the vibe of what I'm trying to do, you know? But, um, it's just a potent reminder. And I feel like maybe when I needed to uh, work hard at this music, man, because that's what I want to do so bad. <laughs> and uh, so Saturday night could be out on Dixon, <sighs> but I just, it just seems so fleeting, you know, like I just think I just get, you know, really lonely and I'm like, man, I wish I had some girls to hang out with some bad. Some bad girls to hang out with, but I don't know what I'm gonna meet some hot chick at some bar in Dixon. I don't know. It's just like where would that even go? Probably nowhere. So here I am. I almost talked to that girl at the gym today, and there was some other guy working there, and he was just really intimidated me and. He was just giving me this funny look because I went to get a towel at the desk and this guy was like, just, you know, give me a look, like, fuck off. And I was like, is this guy, this girl's girlfriend, boyfriend? And I was like, I doubt it. But I was like, I don't know. I let my fear get the best of me and I got intimidated, which I was so mad about because I was like, like, fuck that guy. Like, I'm gonna go back up there and in front of him, like, say something to her and, like, compliment her or something. And I just didn't do it. And I was like, damn it. So, but then I, whenever I was leaving, I was like, all right, I'm gonna say something. And I go up there and I'd just gotten out of the pool and I was like, bet, like, I'm gonna say something. And she was helping two guys get their membership set up. And I was like, damn it. Like, I was so pissed because I, like, really worked up the the nerve to do it and I just have an opportunity so like fuck. So hopefully tomorrow she'll be there. Probably say something. But yeah, it's Saturday night. We made some beats with a couple loops from Nova that I found. He liked them, so that's good. Um, I'm reading you know, I just such a sacrifice to do this shit. <laughs> you know, like the weekend, I'm gassed from work, you know, like, I slept so hard last night, oh my gosh, like I slept like crazy hard and I just woke up at like 7.30, I was like, it's gotta be late as hell. And I looked over at 7.30, I was like, dang, like, I can sleep for a little bit longer, so. You know, I did that and I was driving around today on Dixon or not Dixon, I guess I was leaving my place to go to the gym. 
all the sororities are like doing their rush shit, I guess. I don't know. And uh, there's just so many beautiful girls. There's just thousands of them, just so fine. And I just like really got this sense of um, like anxiety. I was like, shit, like there's all these fine girls like walking around. Like I don't want to miss out, you know? I don't like that stupid FOMO if you're missing out. I think that's stupid. But that's what I really felt because I was like, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to go to Home Depot. I'm about to build this bed. I'm about to go back to my place. I'm about to clean. And I cleaned for so long and threw a ton of trash away and organized a little bit. Uh, and worked on beats for hours. And now I'm in my room by myself reading this book. You know? And I don't say all that to make myself like, I'm some pillar of self-control. Like, there's a lot of ways where I don't have self-control and I need to work on self-control, but there was just, I was finishing up beats a minute ago. And, you know, I was just like, you know, <clears throat> I'm just paying a big toll right now because I'm choosing to not go out. I'm choosing to stay here. I'm choosing to read. I'm choosing to work on my craft. And this life that I'm choosing is taking, and not taking a toll, but it just comes at a cost, you know? Like, I just worked at a new job that is extremely stressful, and you have to be really smart to do it, and I'm not that smart. Well, I'm, I'm smart, but like, it just takes a lot of practice that I don't have yet. So I'll get good at it eventually. But I just realized that to do this shit, it is such a, <clears throat> like, the amount of decisions that you make <clears throat> surrounding it, it's not just you know, you gotta work hard and, you know, whatever, and keep grinding, stay positive, like, you gotta do all of that. But it's literally the fact that it's a Saturday night and I'm choosing not to go out because I know that I'm not gonna get, and there's nothing out there that's gonna benefit where I wanna be. I'm not gonna, I mean, like, maybe I could go hustle at some clubs and bars and get some numbers and, like, get some shows lined up. And I'm gonna do that. I think next weekend I'm gonna do a show. I've decided, like, that's my goal right now. Like, next weekend, I'm going to do a show. But the fact that I make the decision to stay here and read, because I know it's good for me, and I'm not going to go out and spend money on drinks, and I'm not going to get super drunk and then come back and then eat a bunch of bullshit and fuck up my fitness goals. Like, I put a, like a very medial amount of weight on but like I'm trying to get back to like being shredded as hell and shit. Cause like whenever I'm doing shows on the regular and I'm gonna take my damn shirt off and get crunk, like I wanna be able to have that physique and that body that I want, you know? And it is just such a all consuming pathway of decision making that I live in because it's not just about how I spend my money and the fact that I'm not buying shit like shoes or clothes in which I really want, but I don't have any extra money to pay for those things because I'm paying for beats and I'm paying for masters and I'm paying for new equipment because, I don't know, it's just like, there's just so many things like how I spend my time, how I spend my money, how I spend my energy, you know? Fuck me, I'm just like, I am you know, I wish I had a girl over here tonight hanging out, you know? watching a movie, making out, cuddling, whatever. But I thought about that today because I was thinking about this girl that I was talking, or you know, I wanted to talk to at the gym that works there, the super pretty one. And I was like, I had my day lined out. Like I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna go do the finish of the bed, like make the bed or whatever and cut the wood or whatever and like f f get my room how I want it. And I was like, if I go and talk to this girl, and like get gutsy and be like, hey, what, you know, let's go to 
to Crystal Bridges or mm-hmm. let's go get you know dinner or something. I was like, that would literally throw a giant wrench into the plans that I have for today. That every day I have to make that decision to be by myself and be lonely because it's for a cause that I'm working towards. Because I don't want to fucking work at that job. That That is the thing. It, it's wrong for me to not do this. It is wrong for me to not push and not make my shit and do my shit. It's wrong for me to not do that. And I have to make that decision every fucking day. And it is a hard fucking life. Uh, and... I don't know, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it it fucking, it's true. It's true. Because not only am I expending energy at work to make money and pay the bills, normally when people get home, they say, oh, thank God, like I can just throw caution to the wind. I don't have to think about shit. I'm going to watch TV or I'm going to do whatever the fuck people do to decompress when they get home from work. I have to muscle my way out of that mentality because I have work to do when I get home. Because I'm writing lyrics, I'm learning more about song structure, I'm reaching out to people, I'm making a game plan, you know? And it is a costly thing to do, you know? Not just money, I mean, it's fucking expensive. Um, but it just costs other ways, you know? Like time, energy. And talent, like your spirit. I don't know. It's fucking crazy, but I'm really glad I'm doing this video thing because it's gonna be really fucking cool to put it all together one day, have people watch it. <sighs> but I sure do get lonely, and. I get fucking discouraged too because, you know, I think it's just going to be a minute before I find a girl, in my, I mean, in my conjecture, 